See, state lawmakers are poised to finish up their special session today, as we mentioned earlier, but not before some pretty passionate debate about protesters. State Capitol Newsroom reporter Chris Bungard now with what they hope to accomplish. While there's help for businesses and telemedicine, the bill aimed at protesters like these defines this special session. And hopefully this is an enabling piece of legislation that will serve Tennessee patients and Tennessee health care providers well. Early Wednesday morning, members of a Tennessee House committee dealt with a bill and its key provision requiring insurance companies to reimburse telemedicine visits at the same rate as in-person health care visits. I really am going to be cautiously optimistic that people see that this has been something that works. At the same time, a Senate committee tackled legislation aimed at dealing with protests. This is a very uh, important bill. Protests about racial injustice have been going on nearly two months on the Capitol's legislative plaza, but Republican senators said they wanted new penalties for vandalism, protection for law enforcement, and new definitions about camping on public property for any protests statewide. There were many shortfalls within the current law that didn't adequately address uh, what we've seen just a few months ago, what we saw in Nashville, Davidson County, a few months ago. As the Senate committee dove into the lengthy bill while trying to say it protects peaceful assembly, a minority Democrat voiced opposition. Because I find it is not for the sake of justice, but it is for the purpose of silencing people. But that has not happened yet at this protest. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard, now, the third area of the special session dealt with protecting businesses and health care facilities from COVID-19 lawsuits.